What's up guys, it's XRobby2x here, and back with uh, Minecraft Modding Made Easy, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to give some attributes to blocks, and how to make glass blocks, and also how to make slow blocks and fire blocks. So, uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, with glass. Now, you want to declare glass like you would a any other normal block. So, let's go into our mod blockium dot block or mod blockium dot java you want to go with the public static final block blockium class equals new uh, blockium uh, what are we going to know blockium glass I guess oh block blockium blockium glass now the constructor is going to be a bit different because a glass block is not actually of block it's uh, let me see block glass it's a block breakable class it's not a block class so um, the block breakable class has four different uh, parameters in the constructor so let's go ahead and look at that first we need ID second we're gonna need the texture ID so zero if you're going to use a custom texture Next, we're going to need a materi uh, material, so it's going to be material like glass. And then next is a flag if it renders correctly. So you, I'll explain a little more on that. So you just want to put false. Now you want to give it some uh, some properties here. So let's just go with 0.5 f hardness, which is pretty easy to break. And uh, what we're going to want to do is set name so set block name uh, let's go with blockium glass alright so now we have the declaration so we need to go down here and give it a name uh, some recipes maybe and whatnot so actually I might make it yeah I'll probably make it smeltable so let's go ahead and wait let me I have notes on the other page here and See, I had to do this beforehand, see if it works. So let's go ahead and make a comment block of glass. Now I'm going to lower that register block. Don't, whenever you make a new block, do not forget to register your block. Other, otherwise, it's not going to work. So let's uh, also give it a name, add name. Uh, object is blockium glass, and the string is blockium glass. Okay, you're gonna do this so many times, like you're gonna do all these declarations so many times. Eventually, you're just gonna remember them, and it's gonna be pretty much, you know. Uh, okay, um, so yeah, next we want to give it a texture. So block index in texture, and equals mod loader dot add override, and don't forget the slash terrain. Dot PNG and don't forget the quotes also quote slash blockium glass dot PNG now we can go ahead and go look at that I made a custom texture uh, where am I bin minecraft um, blockium glass now what this looks like actually is it's a 16 by 16 block like there would be normally and I filled in some of the some of the like the, the texture with the blocking colors black red and blue and all of this in the middle is empty like I left it blank so there's it's on a white background it's a no background so you can see through the glass so make sure to put that in um, MCP bin Minecraft Just plop it in here so now that we have this um, Let's go ahead and look at our recipe for smelting. So I'm gonna copy this. So mod loader that add smelting class object dot block ID. So this would be blockium glass dot block ID equals a new item stack. Um, 
Wait, what do we want? Okay, this is what we want. This okay, um here we want blockium glass. And here we're gonna want blockium. I think it's just blockium. It's blockium block. So we're gonna smelt blockium blocks into glass like we would smelt sand into glass. And let's just give it um ten glass for every smelt, so I don't have to smelt that many. Um alright, so I mean we have glass now. If, oh, well, no, we don't, actually, because we haven't actually made the class, so let's go ahead and new class. What do we name it? Blockium glass. Block, blockium glass. So you want to make a block, blockium glass. Now, the constructor for this is going to be different, like I said, because as you see in black, uh, block glass, um, it's different. So, first of all, it's going to extend block breakable. So let's go ahead and extend block break able. And next we want to give it a constructor. So it will be a public block blockium glass. Now what is in the constructor? Int, int, material, and boolean flag. Okay. So it be int, x, it doesn't matter what you name it. Int, y, material material and a boolean flag so we have the constructor what is in the constructor super ij so you just pass everything into super class so x y material and flag so now that we have the constructor i mean we i guess we kind of have the glass now but we we're going to also need this so just go ahead into your block glass.java, copy this, those two, and now get render block pass. Uh, I don't really know what that is. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's like so you can look through it. I think that's what it is. Like so you can look through the block. If you return to zero, I'm guessing that's you can. I don't. I don't know how that works. The quantity you dropped, uh, we worked with this before. It's basically if you break the block, what do you, how many of it you, do you get? I'm just going to return one because when I break my glass, I kind of want it back. I don't feel like remaking it. So, I mean, that's all we need to do in, in here. So let's go ahead and save it. Now, um, I'm not going to test it out just yet. I want to teach you guys how to make um, blocks that when you step on them, something happens. So let's go ahead and open up block soulsand.java and this is perfect because soulsand has a slowing effect. So there's two methods we're going to need. It's axis align bb whatever get collisions bounding box. What this does is actually when you walk when you normally walk on a block you're walking on top of a block. You're not actually touching the block itself. What this does is actually lower the block a little. That's why when you go on soul sand, you sink in them just a bit. And this lowers the block, so you're actually touching the block. And because you're touching the block, this method can be called, which is on entity collide with block. So when you literally collide with block, as in you sink into the block, this is what's going to happen. Now, what this is doing is pretty much motion of X, motion of Z. So your speed forward backwards side to side whatever diagonal is times equals meaning it's time like they take the your regular speed would be a hundred percent and they times it by point four so they would make it well, it's four four oh two and this so this would make it forty percent speed over your regular speed so let's go ahead and do that I mean yeah let's go ahead and copy these two right here And simply paste them on the bottom here, right under here. And uh, we can do. I I guess we can leave it at forty, but you can pl you can play around with this. I don't know why all these zeros are necessary. I'm just gonna delete those zeros. It just bug me. Let's actually make it a little slower. So let's make it six, so it's not as slow as soul sand. So now we have this. There's one more thing that I wanna I wanna add to this.
Now, if you open up your entity.java, you're going to see a function in here, which is not actually named. It's just called f, like a function, underscore 40046, underscore d. And what this is, is it, it sets the entity on fire. Now, whatever number you pass in here, this gets multiplied by 20. And I believe that for every 25... No, wait. For every 50, um, for every 50, um, values, you get one heart damage. So, yeah. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Or it's every 40 or something like that. So, let's say if we pass 10 in here, I would get damage. 10 times 20 would be 200. Divided by 50 would be 4 hearts. So, let's go ahead and copy... Well, actually, no. Just remember, copy this right here. Just this, the function part right here. This is just this. Copy that. Go back into your... Uh, where are we? No. Block, block, um, glass. What? Wait, wait, wait. Where did I just paste this? Oh, whoops. I just pasted this into the block glass. Nope, we want to paste this in the block, block, um, glass. Whoops, sorry for that. So it's, I gotta, I can't be messing around with this, so I'm going to return it to whatever it was. I'm going to save real quick. So now that we have this in block blocking class, let's go to our entity, copy this function. You're going to see it because it's the only one that, like, it has fire, like this one has fire, but it sets to zero, which means you pretty much fire immune. This one sets fire to a certain value. So it's, you're going to know it's this function. And, I mean, method, what? I keep calling it function because it's function right there. All right, so you're gonna go back to block block and get ah glass, and where it says entity collided with block, you're gonna want to do entity dot, and then function this function, and then pass in a value of how strong you want that fire to be. For now, let's do uh, let's do one. I think one's gonna be fine. And um. Yeah, I mean, we're good here. We've done pretty much everything. So you can do, um, you can set stuff on fire even without this right here. Even without, uh, this collision bounding box. So you can do that, but you can't, um, alter the motion, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and recompile. Mm hmm. Now, um, sorry for putting out, like, one video a day. I am really busy, and I'm trying to get these out as, as much as I can, but, uh, yeah, I usually finish them late at night, so I, I, uh, I publish them late at night, which kind of sucks for most people, because everybody's, uh, everybody's already asleep. Alright, so, what I did right here is... I'm, I, had, I still have my little bunker, and there's monsters outside, so I've been using my magic mod to kill the monsters, but, um, alright, so I have all the, all the tools and whatnot here, let's, let me, let me actually smelt two blocks, and, oh, I hear spiders out there, I hear zombies, good thing I have a good sword. Oh, it's getting... Wait, wait, is that a creeper? Also, what I have figured out is that, uh... When you use lightning on creepers, I totally forgot about super creepers, and they leave a big hole when they blow up. So those can be scary. Oh. Uh-huh. Totally forgot about this. Huh. Alright, well, you know what, um, how about I do, oh, man, totally forgot that you, when you smell blocky more, you get that, alright, um, I'll, let's go change that, actually, so, where are we, let's go in here, mod blockium, and let's copy our, um, our recipe, actually, I have the recipe on the other, 
my other screen. Totally forgot that there was a, a <laughs> when you smelt. Uh, where's the glass right here? When you smelt it, you get uh, ingots. So I made a recipe right here. So it's it's basically a little cube, two by two cube, with blocking ingots. Gives you eight glass. Let's go. Let's make that a ten glass. And let's actually make this just two by right next to each other because we already have two ingots in game. So let's go ahead and save this. Exit out of that. And we're gonna recompile again. I don't know why I totally forgot that you get ingots when you smelt uh, blocking ore. I probably should have known, but whatever. Come on, recompile faster. Yeah, um, today I'm going to be working on the magic mod a little more, and I can't wait because I'm doing earth element, and that's going to be a fun one. So maybe I'll get another progress video out today. I'm not sure. Hello there. So let's go ahead and make our glass. So we have blocking glass. All right, that's cool. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, hello there, spider. Sucks for you that I have a really strong sword. Alright, so, remember, we made our blockium, um, glass. Uh, what do we make it do? We made it slow. First of all, let's test out its see-through powers. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. See, you can see through it like you would through normal glass, but it doesn't have those annoying little etch marks in it, so you can actually see through it, so it's cool. Now, um, we made it so when you step on it, it slows you down, and it also, what is it, what else, oh yeah, it sets you on fire. So let's go ahead and plop these down, and we're going to step on them to see if it actually works. Oh, you see, uh, when you throw stuff on them, it also burns the stuff, so it's kind of convenient, I guess. Let me show you with seeds. So you throw it on them, and since Entity fell on it, it burns them. So when we step on blocking, nothing happens, but we step on this, it's like, ah, ah. But we only set the fire to one, so it's really weak, and it barely does any damage, and we already... Look at that, it's... What, what is it, like half a heart? Not even half a heart, it's... It's like pathetic damage. So if you want more damage, you can set that up. But uh, let's walk on this and see if it slows us down. So we're walking, walking, walking. Yeah, we're slowed down. I mean, this is this is a lot faster. So yeah, that's like the basics of glass and adding speed. And yeah, you can actually make fast blocks also. You just you make the speed times one point something or times two or times whatever. And yeah. Uh, slow blocks, fire blocks, um, glass, that's, I mean, that's, I guess, that's, that's it for today. <laughs> um, yeah, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, uh, comment for comments, suggestions, questions, whatever you have, uh, subscribe for more videos, and, um, thanks for watching. See ya!